The movie begins with a young girl named Riley Anderson, as she's now 13 years old, is getting ready for a hockey match. While her parents cheer her on, Riley's emotions, joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear guide her actions throughout the game. During the match, Riley trips an opponent and is put in the penalty box. After Riley had just finished winning a hockey game with her friends, she is met by their high school coach, she commends the girls for their exceptional play, and then invites them to a three days hockey camp. The girls are excited that they finally have a chance to play for the main team if they impress coach at the camp. The animation shows us how Riley thrives in her new town. She had even gone to form a tight knit friendship with her friends, Brace and Bree. Later that night, Riley discloses to her parents about giving a penalty in a game that nearly cost them the match. Joy takes this memory and uses a recall too to send all of Riley's unpleasant memories to the back of her mind. As the emotions settle in for the night, Joy creates a projection system for Riley that tosses out all of her bad thoughts and memories to the back of her mind, so Riley doesn't navigate through them. The other emotions likes her idea and they help Joy sweep out all bad memories. Joy decides to take sadness to the belief system where Riley's sense of self is organized. At night, the emotions are woken up by the puberty alarm on their console going off. A construction crew of mind workers then bursts in and starts making changes to headquarters before setting up a new console. Riley then wakes up and is greeted by her mom to get her ready to go to hockey camp. When anger, sadness, and disgust touch the console, Riley appears to overreact to her mom, leaving them confused. Riley's parents take Grace, Riley, and Bree to hockey camp. On the way there, Riley finds out that Grace and Bree are being coached at a different high school, meaning they will not all be on the same team in their new school years. Joy helps keep Riley together until the girls arrive at the camp, and Sadness lets Riley have a little cry over not being with her friends the next year. Riley snaps out of it when she sees Valentina, Val Ortiz, the captain of the Firehawks that she idolizes. When Riley tries to talk to Val, new emotions begin to appear in her head. The original emotions first meet Anxiety, who nervously tries to make a good first impression, and has Riley awkwardly introduce herself to Val. He introduces Joy and the others to three more emotions, Envy, Embarrassment, and Ennui, which can also be referred to as boredom. Joy accommodates them as she believes every emotion is good for Riley at this stage in her life. Anxiety takes control of the console, and then decides to follow Valentino Ortiz, leaving behind Riley's best friend, Joy questions his decision but just like his personality, he tells her that he is planning for the next 40 years of Riley's life as she could be left with no friends. His job is to protect Riley from the stuff she can't see as he plans for the future. He shows the crew the worst possible scenario that could happen to Riley if she doesn't perform well for the hockey team. Joy doesn't like his negative personality and then tries to calm everyone down. Just then, Nostalgia walks in but it wasn't yet her time, so she is escorted back into her holding box. Despite wanting to stick with her friends, Riley joins Val so that she can make a good impression on her and her teammates. They go to the locker room, but Joy takes over the console from anxiety when Grace and Bree show up. Coach Robert walked into the locker room. Coach Robert seizes everyone's phone because of Riley, and this makes Joy feel she has done an absolute bad job. Because of the indiscipline, Coach Robert puts the girls to extra training. Riley overhears Val's teammates saying how Riley is making a bad first impression. Embarrassment and sadness both make Riley cry, but anxiety steps in so that Riley can talk to Val and apologize for goofing off and getting the other girls in trouble. Val is nice to her and she advises Riley, telling her that they should be on the same team during match practice. The other emotions are glad that anxiety plan worked out pretty well, so she proceeds to continue with her other plans. Coach Roberts has the girls split off into teams, when Riley has to choose between joining Grace and Bree or going with the Firehawks. Joy tries to tell Anxiety that Riley's sense of self would lead her to join her friends, but Anxiety pulls the sense of self out and sends it through the recall too, as she feels that Riley needs to go through major changes to secure her future. When Joy protests, Anxiety has embarrassment put the original emotions in a jar and sent away to stop them from interfering. Anxiety uses one of her recent memories to take to the belief system to form a new corrupted sense of self for Riley, leading her to join Val instead of Grace and Bree. Meanwhile, Joy and the other emotions are captured and taken to the vault where Riley's secrets are all kept and placed alongside other fictional characters that Riley is familiar with, like a children's cartoon character named Bluffy with his magic pouch, Pussy plus a Final Fantasy-esque video game character named Lance Slashblade that Riley, 
and later discussed, has a crush on. The emotions are broken out by a deep dark secret and blow the door out using dynamite from Pouchy. When the security guards go after them, Lance uses his special move, which is just enrolling, but it works well enough to get the guards to clumsily lock themselves into another vault. The five start running back toward headquarters, but Joy is determined to recover Riley's sense of self before going back. They end up stuck in a dead end in the Hall of Memories before seeing that Riley is starting to wake up. The new emotions have her getting up early to practice hard so that she can make the fire hawks. It ends up allowing Riley to bond more with Val, though Grace and Breed notice Riley drifting away from them. Joy anger, disgust, and fear at another dead end, leading to an argument and Joy blowing up on her friends because she has a hard time leading them and also worries that anxiety is right about Riley not needing their influence anymore. Anger talks her out of her funk and helps get her back on her feet. They use a tube from the mind workers to shoot themselves high enough to see their way back towards the old sense of self. Sadness makes her way back into HQ if her anxiety and envy recall a bunch of useless memories. Embarrassment notices sadness, but helps keep her hidden. Meanwhile, the other four find Imagination Land and discover a room where mind workers are made by anxiety to come up with hypothetical negative scenarios to push Riley to do well enough to make the fire hawks. Which work out pretty good as Riley spends more time with Valentino and also performs well at hockey. Joy leads her friends to come up with positive scenarios before anxiety catches on to them. Anxiety ends up having Riley wake up and sneak into Coach Robert's office to look at her journal. Sadness sneaks by and swipes Enwi's phone to use her console app and stop her from looking at it, but anxiety takes it back and makes Riley open it, and it says, not ready yet under her name. Riley is left upset, so the new emotions try to summon some ideas to step up her game, the other four get caught in a storm of ideas as they continue to float by, and Joy has them trying to break them as they fly their way. A big idea comes flying their way, which they see as their only way out of the storm, but it slips through the two and leaves them behind. Riley ends up not sleeping and tries practicing even harder before the scrimmage. She also dyes a red streak in her hair like the rest of the firehawks. Anxiety's new sense of self is now complete, but it makes Riley believe that she is not good enough. The four finally make it to the back of the mind just as Joy and the other emotions make it to the back of Riley's mind. They needed to go to the top of the mountain to be able to locate the sense of self. They find it but the light has become really dim. Embarrassment tries to help Sadness sneak by to use the recall tube to bring her friends back up, but anxiety catches them and breaks the tube, completely destroying it and leaving the others with no way to get back. Joy is overcome with despair and comes to the realization that throwing up means you feel less joy but it doesn't mean that they will let Riley stay that way. Their joy navigates through all Riley's bad memories and tells the others that they need to get to the headquarters as soon as possible. With the help of a fictional character Pouchy, they are able to use dynamites to blow up all the bad memories to cause an avalanche that will enable them travel. Back at the headquarters, anxiety had gone out of control. In Riley's final game, he makes her feel she needs to score more than two goals or else she wouldn't be fit good enough. She becomes selfish, and is filled with rage during her final hockey game after she commits a dangerous foul against her friend Grace. Coach Robert had to sit her outside of the game. Though she navigates through different emotions and worries as anxiety is already causing chaos back at the headquarters. Luckily, Joy and the others find their way back to the headquarters. She is able to stop anxiety who had gone full rogue. She breaks the corrupted sense of self and then inserts the old one. Anxiety is sorry for the damage he had caused, he tells Joy that he just realized that they don't get to choose who Riley is and he was just trying to protect her. Just then, Joy figures out that she doesn't need to change Riley to have a good future, but all her memories and experience will shape her to the person she wants to become. The emotions all haunt each other as this eases up Riley. She becomes whole again and then apologizes to Grace and Bree for treating him bad. She calls upon Joy to orchestrate her actions as she finishes the game with so much happiness. The new section at high school, Riley becomes friends with Valentino and the Fiery Hawks teams. She also keeps in contact with her best friends, Grace and Breathe, as the emotions come together to help her go through her newly developed sense of self. The movie then came to an end. If you enjoyed content like this, kindly subscribe. Goodbye.